LG G Styler, Boost Mobile User HD here, and today I'm doing a video about Samsung here. Uh, they're testing a Galaxy Beta program, which reveals that Samsung is testing a touchless UI overhaul app drawer optional. So what basically what Samsung doing is they're testing a user in a touchless UI without an app drawer, but you guys can have it optional if you guys want to do that. Um, so uh. So basically, y'all guys will have well, y'all guys will have an option to have an app drawer or not on a Samsung Galaxy device. Um, I find this interesting, interesting because oh, Android N is rumored not to have an app drawer from what I hear so far, but Android N. So, um, Samsung now is taking the point of doing a beta, a the Galaxy beta program, which is Samsung is testing a touchless UI overhaul. App drawer is optional, right? So y'all guys don't have an app drawer, or y'all guys don't have to have an app drawer, guys. I'm on AndroidPolice.com here, so I'm on AndroidPolice.com here. So y'all guys can go check out this article here. Um, did y'all guys see the list of the Samsung devices that I'm guessing those are the uh devices that will support the uh new app drawer uh option, I guess. The what is the Galaxy Note 5, the Galaxy S6, the Galaxy S6 Active. The Galaxy S6 Edge, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, the Galaxy S7, the Galaxy S7 Active, Galaxy S7 Edge, and Samsung, and maybe the next the next Note will have it as well. Have that option. So I'm assuming those are the devices that will support this new ad drawer thing. Says so if you often find yourself asking, yeah, but what if it didn't have an app drawer? In regards to your Galaxy phone, good news: Samsung is testing a very big touch was redesigned. That makes it optional. For some reason, uh, eliminate is xed out here, but it's optional, guys. Like the LG G5 and the LG Stylus 2. Um, if you guys remember, the LG G5 doesn't have an app drawer, but there is an update where y'all guys can use an app drawer on the G5. If you guys want to do that, uh, it's called Easy Home. It's called uh, LG Home with app drawer on the G5. The Stylo 2, the Stylo. The Stylus 2, the Stylus 2, the Stylus 2 Plus, and all the other recent LG phones out there. So now Samsung's putting their toes in here. Um, says it says here in Korea and China. Sorry, knew that was kind of a tease, but Samsung is testing something called New Note UX. That's what it's called. And the person who wrote this article, he says he wondered what it he wondered what that refers to on the Galaxy Note 5 as part as its new Galaxy Beta program. It looks differently. As you guys can probably see, all uh, that shit's in Chinese there. Um, there's no app drawer as 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 you guys will see on the uh the screenshots here. There's no app drawer, but there's the option. There'll be an option to add one, so it's optional to have app drawer or not. So right there, you'll see no app drawer, and the quick settings toggle, the quick settings menu will be all right right will be all right there. You you won't have to scroll over and over and over to get the quick settings because of have it all right there, and I know what I don't know what the third screenshot is over here. I'm not sure what the fuck that is. It says, as you can see, there's no app drawer. It, it is apparently optional, as one commenter commenter has pointed out. But that's just beginning of the changes. All the icons have rounded square shapes or rounded square backdrops now. Gagging sounds. The power toggle drop down is no longer horizontally. Scrubble list of functions. Apparently, the settings menu will to totally different too. Again, that this is only in testing. The test is in China and Korea. As as you guys will see, a lot of uh Chinese uh letters here. There's like in the shit in Chinese. I, I I don't understand this shit. So yeah. Um, it says again, this is in testing. And the test is in China and Korea. It's possible Samsung plans to start shipping more regionalized interfaces on its devices. As the Chinese smartphone market definitely seems to have some different user pr preference than the rest of the world. Or at least phone manufacturers seem to think it does. Regardless, the perception is here. It also possible that this, this is a preview of what we'll see when the next 6 launches later this summer. Or the Note 7. There might not even be a Note 6, which I, don't, which I find hard to believe. Um, it's unclear if Samsung plans to expand the Galaxy Beta program uh, outside China and Korea or to other non-Note devices. The source of these 
screen sets claim it will in fact be rolled out to all modern Samsung devices eventually by August of this year. But we've yet to verify that that with Samsung, so wouldn't put a whole lot of faith in that timeline for now. You can head up the source link below. So I'm gonna show you guys more images, guys. So um, this is source link. It's called Playful Jewelry. That will be linked in the six boxes video. So yeah, y'all guys can go check that out. So let's go check it out. So Galaxy Beta program. Um, the uh, beta program is called New Note UX UI layer. Oh, uh, there's an article I published on um, Friday, I believe. So there's the thing there. Let me see if I can click on one of these. There's one of them. I don't know what that's. A Galaxy program there. Galaxy beta program. That shit's all in Chinese. I don't understand it. It says here. It is understood that. In this article on playful droid here. So that it is understood that this new way will be also be rolled out to the Galaxy S7, Edge, S7, S6, SSX, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus devices as well as well as the Note 5 and then the Note 5 is on the list. I think the Note the next Note will have this option as well. Well and will not be limited to only the Note 5. If something went wrong, the U the U new way is expected to be rolled out by August this year. Thanks, Ming, for the tips. Okay. So it's supposed to be rolled out by August this year, and so we come to the Galaxy S7 Edge, S7, S6, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus, Note 5, and the Galaxy and the Galaxy Note 6, 7, whatever the next generation Note's gonna be called. So here's the screenshot, guys. So that's what it looks like. This is the home page. There's no app drawer, as you guys can see. Um, you guys see there's no app drawer. Um, you guys have got your phones, uh, contact messages, browser, camera. Uh, got your, uh, camera up there, your Samsung milk music. And what the hell is that? Is that an, uh, is it, uh, that, uh, that looks like an iOS, uh, font there on the calendar there. And I think that's a clock next to it and, uh, shit. Um, got your time up there, weather and shit. Uh, this is, um, I'm not sure what the fuck this is, uh, some more screens of, of the home screen, so no app drawer, this is your apps and shit, uh, so this is all on the home screen, as, as you guys can see, uh, got like a video player, S Note, uh, calculator, settings, uh, Galaxy app store, uh, fucking, uh, uh, file manager, um, some of this shit, I can't even tell what it is. It shit's in Chinese, dude. I know one app is called Layout, because it has it uh, printed out in English. You got SNET up there. No app drawer again. This is the uh, quick settings toggle. So the new, no, you, the you know, UX UI is going to have this. Um, this is all your quick settings. It's not going to be a scrollable horizontal thing. It's going to be uh, all at one thing. So you got your Wi-Fi sounds your data your location bluetooth vibration flashlight airplane mode uh whatever, whatever the fuck that is like the airplane mode uh i guess i guess that's a screenshot on the second row on the second row at the very last thing uh i guess that's don't disturb uh i guess green cast or some shit um nfc uh that's nfc is printed out in english uh, let's guess if that's a notification bar right there on this on that on that picture right there. This is like some uh uh menu on the Galaxy Note Five here. Um, I think that thing this is gonna be on the Note Five because the Note Five has you know the S Pen and shit and on the next Note and all that. So got the settings down there. And this is uh um. Some more screen types and shit. Uh, your uh, settings, your quick settings and shit. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what the fuck this is. Like your storage or some shit. Like, I guess it's like your storage or something. Um, uh, I don't even know what 
this is. I'm not sure what this that has no name. But yeah, uh so uh Samsung is testing a new Galaxy a new Note UX UI it's called uh Galaxy Beta program. Uh it's it's in testing right now. Uh it's supposed to be coming to the Galaxy S uh son of a Okay, uh the new Note U uh UX UI is supposed to be coming out to the Galaxy S seven Edge, the Galaxy S seven the Galaxy S6, the Galaxy X6 Edge, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, the Note 5, and the next generation Note, Galaxy Note 6 or 7, whatever the hell they're gonna call it, the next Note this year. So it's gonna have this uh Note, this Note, this new Note UX UI, and it'll, it'll, it'll have an option to have, to have an app drawer like it is on the on the LG G5 or the LG UX 5.0 interface. Um, so now. Sometimes you're gonna have that option to work. You guys can have the app drawer on your phone if you guys want it or not. So, you, as you guys see, no app drawer, and uh, all your apps are, are on the home screen here. And I personally don't care about the uh, app drawer, I personally don't care. I know it sounds like I know it sounds like iOS and shit like that about the no app drawer because you know iOS never had an app drawer, but I personally don't care, you know what I'm saying? I personally wouldn't care. Um, some of you guys might not like that, but you guys will have an option to have the app drawer or not. Some some songs will give you some songs will give you guys the option to have it or not. Like LG, um, well, LG gives you the option now to have an app drawer now on your G5 or any other recent LG smartphone out there with the LG UX 5.0 interface with LG's home with uh app drawer. It's an option to have. Um, so uh, Samsung. So you that you that option as well. I mean, because I hear that Android N is supposed to be rumored without Android N is rumored not to have an app drawer from what I hear, but that's it could change, but who knows? But yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is the home screen, so you know Android drawer anywhere. I uh, got your stuff down there. Uh, another uh, an, another screen shot. It looks like the uh, the S Note application or, or the S Note shit or whatever. Uh, this is all your apps from the uh, home screen. That's what it looks like. And you guys can put your guys apps in folders if you guys want to do that. As is, you guys can see right there on the second round on the last icon there. There's a folder. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think about Samsung testing a new beta program with the new Note UX UI interface for the Galaxy Note 5, the S6, the S6 Edge, the S6 Edge Plus, the S7, and the, and the S7 Edge, and I think that the next night will have this option as well. Let them know what you guys think about it. Do you, would you guys be uh, for the new app drawer option on the on the Galaxy devices? Let them know what your comments. What, let, them, let them know what your opinions are in the comment section of the video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. Peace.